Sure. Okay, we are going to start with an opening statement from Coach Service, then we're going to have some questions for Michael, and then we're going to let him go, and then questions for Coach. Well, we knew he'd have to play a, a complete game to get this thing done tonight. We just weren't very sharp on the mound. But that being said, I give our guys a lot of credit. When it was 6-2, um, to two, it didn't look very promising, and we still had a chance in the ninth inning with the runners to tie the game at second base with only one out. So. Um, tells you a little bit about this club and how they really conducted themselves all year. But we just weren't sharp on the mound. And you can't give uh, Xavier 10 free bases, 10 walks, and expect to keep the score down. OK, questions for Michael? Oh, sorry, they're passing out some tournament stats over there. Go ahead, Matt. Matt Arenas, White and Blue Review, Mike, I guess. I know, you, I know Xavier's a very potent offense. Were the walks on the mound a product of trying to make sure you know, although you want to throw strikes, you're not grooving pitches for them. Were guys maybe trying to paint the corners too much, or were they just not affected from the start? Um, I think they're a little hesitant. You know, when they we saw them in the uh, last inning yesterday, put up runs, and they, that got in their head a little bit. But got to give some credit to Xavier for playing off those borderline pitches, and they got some big hits when it counted. So, I guess when you're going to look back at this game and kind of think about think think it over, because it is a one run game. I mean, are you going to think about the walks? Or are you going to think about maybe the situations on base where maybe you had opportunities to pad the lead a little bit when it was two to one in the early first three or four innings? Um, I'm, I'm honestly just going to think about it. We, we didn't give up. You know, I'm proud of the guys. Uh, like Coach said, it, was, it wasn't looking too good at 62 or whatever the score was. But I think what we what we got to come out with this uh, of this loss was that we didn't give up and we we had opportunity at, at the end, but didn't come through. Okay, Megan. Megan O'Brien, Big East Digital Network. Michael, um, you know, you keep saying we didn't give up, and that's really kind of been the mantra of this team all season long. You know, the rough start, 1-11. and 11. How much do you guys feed off of that energy, and what makes you guys able to turn things around so quick like you did today in the seventh inning? Um, I think it's just a short memory. You know, something can happen, but we're going to have, an, have another opportunity to come through later on the game. So uh, I think we just learned that, like you said, throughout the year, and uh, we learned to never give up. John Fanta, Big East Digital Network, flipping it to the offensive side. Michael, what has you seen the baseball so well right now? Uh, i got to give credit to my hitting coach and coaches. They really prepared us for this game, for the starter. And, um, I think we went out there and just tried to hit balls hard and uh, connected with a few. All right. Matt, last question. You guys have had your backs up against the wall a couple of times throughout this season. And you know it's something that I've talked with Coach about a couple of times throughout this week already. You know, one of the big words that he uses to describe you guys is resilient. How much do you draw on kind of the ups and downs of this season heading into an elimination game, win or go home tomorrow? You know, it's just confidence, you know. Um, we're a younger team, but I mean, that doesn't really play a role this far in the season. Um, guys know they can do it. Uh, we have faith with every guy in our lineup up and down. So going into tomorrow, we're just going to go out there and play as hard as we can. All right, Michael, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, Matt, questions for Coach? I guess, Ed, what's going to eat at you as you kind of digest this one tonight? Because there were opportunities on the base pass early to kind of push that lead out a little bit. But then again, like you said, you guys weren't really effective on the mound either. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of walks. You know, and um, we just gave them a ton. You know, and, and I was even surprised. I knew we gave them a lot, but when I got the final stats to know that we gave them 10, um, they're way too good a hitting team to give them 10 more free opportunities to score. So, I mean, not only are they um, a good offensive team, but they're good creative base running, too. They put a lot of pressure on you on the bases. So, um, yeah, just that. And then we failed to execute a couple times early in that game. You know, lead off double by Jason Albert. We try to move him over with a bunt. And we don't get it done. We get thrown out of third base. We don't score that inning. You'd like to think when you get a leadoff double that that's an opportunity to score a run. And again, we don't think about that now because it happened back in the third inning. But we did have a 2-1 lead. That maybe puts us up to 3-1. Maybe they look about, you know, think about getting to the bullpen earlier. It just changes the whole dynamic of the game. And the bunt game has really been a challenge for us this year. And um, 
Uh, for some reason, we just haven't executed that part like we have in previous years. If you look at 7-6 or 7-3 and the way you kind of scratch back into it and that you had the tying run on second base in the ninth, does that speak well for what you're expecting tomorrow, knowing that they showed some bounce back tonight? Oh, they'll play well tomorrow. Yeah, they will. They, they've, uh, they're not going to go back to where they were in the early part of the year. You know, they, they, they've learned from that. So it's a game. It's a baseball game tomorrow. You can't look at the big picture. You've got to look at we got to play well tomorrow. And if we do that, then we'll worry about Sunday. But don't look at, oh, my gosh, we've got to win three games in a row. How are we going to do that with limited pitching? If that's your mindset, then you're probably not going to get by tomorrow. So we've been in this situation the last three years, and we found a way to win the Saturday game, and I anticipate this team will play better tomorrow than they did tonight. Matt? Coach, you, you just mentioned limited pitching. Uh, went to your bullpen a couple of times throughout the night. Granted, they didn't stay in terribly long. It was just for a couple of, of batters. But how depleted are you in that respect, and what type of – What's it going to take uh, from a managerial side of things to kind of be creative and, and make sure that you can last and, and use your guys tomorrow? Well, we're actually in pretty good shape in that bullpen. You know, Dave Gerber hasn't pitched in well over a week, so he threw, I believe, 19 pitches today. He's in DeCaster, wasn't in the game. He threw 26 yesterday. We can extend both those guys. David has pitched as much as three or four innings at a time. So has Ethan DeCaster. They're both looking at their last opportunities to play college baseball. So. I mean, if Dave Gerber has to go in that game tomorrow in the third inning, he'll be in that game tomorrow in the third inning. And we'll dump the whole bullpen tomorrow, whatever we got to do to get to Sunday. I don't believe in saving anybody for Sunday. We're going to do whatever we got to do to be successful tomorrow. And then we'll worry about it as soon as that game's over. We'll try to figure out a plan for Sunday. But uh, between Ethan and David, and even Brennan Hammer, who was in there for two batters tonight, we're actually in pretty good shape going into tomorrow. We got Jeff Albrecht, who's used to pitching, you know, five to seven to eight innings for us. He'll start tomorrow, and hopefully he'll do that again. Coach, from your perspective, why has Xavier been sitting in on Championship Sunday three of the four years since reconfiguration? Well, you know, they're a confident team, you know, and, and they got, you know, led by their third baseman. He didn't do anything particularly special tonight, but. You know, the team kind of plays behind his confidence. And uh, that there's a little bit of a gap there between Xavier and our guys right now. You know, we're still trying to figure that part out. And that's part, part due to the, the uh, you know, the youth of the team. But I remember when those guys were all freshmen too. You know, LaRue and, and Bannon, those guys all came up as freshmen. They took their lumps. And now the last two years have been pretty good. So um, we hope to have another opportunity on Sunday to play them. Where can you find the edge against a 41-win St. John's team? Well, you know, we played them well when they were here, yep. um, you know, several weeks ago. Now, again, your team changes personalities. That's probably two months ago. So, um, but, you know, we're, we're going to start a left-hand pitcher, and they have a lot, a lot of left-handed bats. So I'd like to think that's, a, a, that's an advantage. Um, and, uh, you know, we just played well against them. Again, I don't think there's any clear-cut advantage. I, I'll just be disappointed if our guys don't play at a high level. I think they will. Hey, Coach. Yeah. You close the year playing 12 games in 15 days. Does that kind of help prepare for something like this? The next two. I know you're looking at tomorrow sure, and, sure. and not, but playing that many games that tight a schedule, I mean, you're going to have a couple quick turnarounds. You know, the beauty, beauty of this is these guys are 18 and 22. Uh, you know, I, I just don't think 18, 22 year olds get tired if it's important to you. And it's important to these guys. They spend way too much time preparing for this. So, Fatigue will not even factor in at all as we go through tomorrow. And if we're fortunate enough to get to Sunday, we'll just have to line up our pitching. We'll have to be creative come Sunday. But we're not going to be creative tomorrow. We're going to do what we got to do to figure that thing out tomorrow. But you know, I don't worry about fatigue much because, again, if you're 18 to 22 and you got a pulse and it's real important to you, I think you can rise up. And this is a championship situation. This is the end for many of these players if they don't play well. So. I think that being said, uh, the other stuff won't factor in. But yeah. I get where you're coming from. All right. did, that, did I answer it OK? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to make sure I do OK. <laughs> Any more questions for Coach? All right, great. Thank okay. you. Right. See Thanks. you tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks.